You are out of order and you are lying. Almost every word that comes out of your mouth after you say your name is a lie. You need to stop, sir. This epic outburst from Mayor Lightfoot, it happened this afternoon as the city council debated her choice of Bally's, the big Chicago casino that is now coming to our city. The council did approve this, but not before the mayor erupted at references to a new report about potential casino conflicts of interest. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, uh, not the first time you have seen this level of emotion in that council chamber, is it, Mike? No, uh, Anthony uh, and uh, Sally, this uh, was reminiscent of uh, some of the old uh, Richard J. Daly outbursts back in the 60s and 70s. Crane Chicago Business reports that a law firm advising the city on the Bally's deal is also being paid by Bally's for legal work on other company operations. And the 25th Ward's Byron Sigcho Lopez really got under the mayor's skin when he noted how this mirrors the role played by Union Gaming, which provided revenue estimates the mayor's office is relying on, while Union Gaming was also collecting big bucks via a Bally's stock deal. We have the responsibility to review this process, a failed process, and an administration that is more worried about campaign contributions than doing the right thing for the city of Chicago. You are out of order. You are out of order. Out of order and you are a liar. You are a liar, sir, and you are out of order. I sit here and I will not tolerate you besmirching the hard work of so many people. Several council members who in the end voted for the proposal, uh, the Bally's proposal, nonetheless expressed misgivings in the wake of a Crane Chicago business report on the hidden do role, dual role played by Taft Law, a firm that advised Lightfoot during negotiations with Bally's. Neither the public nor the city council were told Taft Law also works for Bally's at its Quad Cities Casino and Hotel in downstate Rock Island. I don't like seeing articles the night before a meeting calling out conflicts of interest or potential ones that we should have known already. We find out that the law firm who drafted the contract had a previous undisclosed relationship with the winning applicant. This all adds up to an unfair advantage. The council did give its approval, but several more approvals will be needed, including from the Illinois Gaming Board before a planned temporary casino could open at 600 North Wabash, perhaps next year. I'm political editor Mike Flannery. Thank you, Mike.